everybody. Today I'm going to review and install this GPS tracker. So it says GPS, but it's not actually GPS. As you can see here, it's a GSM GPRS tracker. It's more a cell phone tower based location. So let's just do a quick unboxing and see what's inside. We have the module itself. Again, it says GPS vehicle tracker. It's not GPS. On the back, we have the EMI number, which I'm going to cover for obvious reasons. Let's see what else do we get in the box. Okay, we get some instructions manual, a command card, and some QR code so we can download the, the app. Okay, we have the manual in both, I don't know if it's Cantonese or other language. And it's also in English, uh, really, really bad English, I must say. But, well, it gives you a general idea about what you got to do with it. And in here it says, I don't know if you can read this, but it says that it has an oil off power switch, which means that it will tell your bike to turn off based on the low oil switch or something else. Now I tested out that with a multimeter and I'll let you know a little bit later what it does. So this is the main connection. It's just power and ground. You just plug it in like this. That's it. It has an inline glass fuse. Okay, let's open it up. And that's it. Okay, I'm gonna close it back up. Now let's open up the module itself. Let me unplug this one. And let me find something to open it up. I'm gonna try it with my fingernails. Seems like it's not that hard to open. And here we go. It's opening. Now let's see what we have inside. We have this, uh, the SIM tray, where you can place a regular SIM. And this seems like a software port, so we can upload software or the fabricator can upload. This is the pin that I was talking about. It says oil out. So it actually, when I tested it out with a multimeter, it outputs a negative pulse, so you can connect it to probably a relay and have the bike, the bike shut down automatically. I, I, I'm i saying bike because I'm going to install it on my motorcycle. So let's just install the SIM. I already put it in the box. It didn't come with a SIM card. I have to go to my service carrier, which in this case is at and and just buy a prepaid SIM, pay-as-you-go SIM. And I'm going to just go ahead and install it. Please have in mind this uses a full-size SIM, like the oldest one. I'm going to open the tray and put it in there. Well, it seems like, no, it doesn't. So I'm going to put it like this. And try to close it. Just center it as best as you can. Pull up to close it. And there we go. I'm going to close it up and we're going to move over to the bike to complete the installation on it. Now we're on the bike. It just requires power and, uh, and ground. I'm going to put it in the back of this cowling of the, uh, the bike and then move this to remove these two Allen screw screws. Now I'm going to fix it with some double-sided tape. So, first of all, let's remove this cover right here. Uh, bear in mind, you got to put it uh, underneath plastic, not metal, because you, you want the cell phone signal to go through. So, let's start by removing this. Now the other screw. Let's move it out of the way. Now, I'm going to strip this wire right here, the red one. Expose a little bit of copper. Now I'm going to pierce through with this small Allen key so I can wrap around the, the wire of the module. 
just going to put it through, wrap it around, do a quick solder. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the negative wire. I already went ahead and stripped it, soldered it, and just going to put some electrical tape around it to avoid any short circuits. And that should do it right there. Now I'm going to put some zip ties to the wiring to route it through the bike. I'll cut off the excess of the zip tie. And two. Okay, now I'm going to stick the module on the top of the cover, connect it, and put it all back together. Just put it in place. Replace the screws. One and finally two. For the configuration, you just follow what the command card tells you to do. Send a couple of commands. I'm blurring this out because it shows my phone number and the phone number of the GPS tracker. Then you open this app right here, which you can download with the QR code. And you just supposedly go in there and just start tracking your your location. And my final thoughts on this product, it doesn't work. It simply doesn't work. It shows a location that is way off of the actual location. I'm talking about a range of 5 to 10 miles, which is not accurate at all. It has the worst reception, GSM reception, that i ever seen in any device at all. So don't waste your $13, don't waste your time trying to install this one. I just wanted to make a quick review and a quick installation video for you guys. Uh, what I'm gonna be doing is uh, I actually already ordered an actual GPS tracker with a GPS antenna and also a GSM antenna. It should be arriving uh, during the next week. I'm gonna be posting a new video installing that one and telling you how to use that one. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I will really appreciate it if you will leave a like in this video. And don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to be posting more regularly now. And, well, thank you very much for watching. Take care.